So these are the two materials I intend to use for the for the lapel, for the cylinder lapel in which I just fixed. You can see. So the very first thing I did is I had a fusing to the back of each of the fabric. It's quite simple. Just this minimum stay um minimum stiff fusing that I use for this. So this will be the center and this will be the side layer. I decided to use this on this because I want to have I want to have as you can see I want to have a similar color in the center of the lapel. That's why I decided to use this. But I will be following this line, which will be my guideline for the center point. So as you can see now, the very first thing I'll be doing is I will be folding edges of this at quarter of an inch. It's quite just small because all the lapel won't go beyond 1.5 inches so i'll be bending this this will be like this i won't be touching this at all so i'll be bending this a quarter of an inch fold it inside make sure your hand is very straight when you're doing this So that's all I have. You see how straight that edges are? That's the most important part. Make sure it's very straight. I'll be doing the same thing on this one. So I'll be folding this edge because it's a very, very rough edge. I'll be folding this edge. Folding this, make sure your hand is straight while doing this. It's quite simple. As you can see, this what it looks like. So first and foremost, I forgot to explain this part to you. This is a little bit bigger than this. This is at one point five inches. Why this is at two? one quarter or two three quarter this one just have to be bigger than this so here this is what we have we're going to place this at the side each of them at one side make sure you use your hand to control it when sewing that part each of this at the side and this one also will be at the side then we're going to do the folding so you, you see what we are having we're going to have that line in the center of the lapel so let me take you guys to the same machine now we're going to fix this and we're going to attach this to our bodies as you can see now we have those three of our pieces that we'll be adding together so the very first one i'll be doing is i'll be taking this and i'm going to place it over this don't forget i intend to be using the center line the straight line so i'll put a little gap in between the two as simple as that now I'll start the stitch from this side at this point this will be the front in which your customer will be seeing so your hand has to be exceptionally straight I mean that your hand has to be exceptionally straight because this is the part, this is the beauty of the outfit itself. So you take your time to make sure your hand and your stitches are very, very clean. You don't have to rush. You really don't have to rush yourself. Just take your time. Just take your time and just stitch slowly as you can see as you can see you see what it look like see what it looks like on the edges a stitch at the edges of the 
fabric make sure your hand is very straight so the next thing i'll be doing is right here let me take my focus back right here on the edges again i'll be stitching at this foot this foot is uh, at quarter of an inch so that will be what i'll be using for my gauge From this, I'm just going to make a stitch. I start running the stitch as you back on. So I'm going to cut it out. So as you can see, can you see this? So the basic, if you follow that foot right here, you will never miss. It will never go up or it's not going to be straight. It's going to be straight and accurate. So I'll be doing the same thing on this one also. Just make sure you place your center. You make sure you're leaving the same gap in between the the line on the center. I'm going to start my stitch from there also. Make sure it is very straight. Make sure you are stitching on the tip of this fabric. see after that you're going to do the same thing on this side also you're going to follow that same foot so you'll be having the same measurement side As you can see both check both this side and this side they are of the same measurement because I use the foot and the foot is not changing so I'm taking you guys to the sewing table now so we are going to fold this and it's not going to go beyond 1.5 inches maximum as for the side that's what we're going to add to our borders as the lapel it's as simple as that so so far this is what we have you can see how clean and how beautiful it is i'm actually loving it myself so i'm just going to trim these edges so the next thing i'll be doing is as you can see from inside it seems this place is a little bit bigger than this that is something we can avoid so i'll just be trimming it in order to give it the same measurement even from inside i'll just trim that part straight down and after the trimming make sure you high on it just to give it a balance so from this point all i'll be doing is i'll fold this as i'm folding this this is very very small i'll just follow that procedure down because I'm folding it as of this measurement which is at the back and which I called before so there's no way I will definitely be folding the accurate thing because I already fold it from inside it's as simple as that gee that thing is hot So 
so this is what the edges look like here also we'll be folding the same thing use your hand to control heat make sure you're not folding more than what you're supposed to fold simple that is so so far this is what we have you see that so now all I'll be doing is I will be cutting this edge which I'll be using for my food and me now we will be folding this inside. Folding this inside. At this point, I will cut this also because this will be at the center point, and it has to rhyme. So I'll call this also. And just call this strip. As simple as that. So I'm going to fold this in. I'm going to fold this on top of it because I want to have this sharp edge. Can you see that? I want to have a very, very sharp edge. I'm going to iron it down. And from the back also, I'm going to iron it. So, so far, this is what we have for our lapel, as simple as that. Now, if you place this in the center of our outfit, we're going to have it looking very, 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 very nice. You can see that. Looking very, very, very nice. So now, we're going to fix this to the... We're going to fix it to the bodice, and I'm going to tip the neck round and that is all on how to fix this so here is the lapel can you see that and here is the mini one that i'll be using inside of this so first and foremost i will be placing this right here all i'll do is i'm going to turn this before that, you can see there is a center point at this place. There's a line right here. So this line, I will be cutting this line, just slitting this line at five of an inch. I'll just slid it down. I'm just slit that open. You can see, already cut that open. So the next thing I'll be doing is I'm going to open this into two. I'm going to place my neck. I'll turn this upside down. As you can see, I'll turn it upside down. And inside of this, I'm going to place my mini lapel. You can see this is inside of the of the outfit. It's inside of the bodice. So I'm going to place my mini lapel right here. And I will start the stitch from here. After that, I'm going to cut this out. And I'm going to make a notch to that point in which I started this stitch as simple as that. Now, when I turn this to the front, I'm 
when I turn this to the front, it will be easier for you to come forward. Can you see that clearly? It will be easier for you to come forward. Then I'm going to put this inside and make sure this overlap very well. I'm going to place my solution on it. Make sure you are stitching on the tip of this fabric right there and try as much as possible to eliminate every thread at this point because they will be the one to this. So, 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 that is it. I'm going to cut out a piece out of this. So this is what it looks like. We're going to take our time to iron it both from inside and from the outside. Cut out every every thread that is too obvious. So now, after this, I will place, I will turn it inside out again. And I'm going to place my lapel just exactly like this. stitch also and I'll end the stitch at this point can you see and I'm going to also make a notch so the stitch is right there after that I'm going to turn this one to the front also I'm easily I'm going to I'm going to move this from inside to outside as simple as that so when this is outside it's as simple as that I'm going to take my time to make sure this lay down very well from inside of the outfit then I'm going to start my stitch from the tissue. I'll make sure this part is very, very. I'll start my stitch from here. Make sure your hand is very straight. And make sure you're stitching because we're following this line right here downward to the center. You don't need to rush it, just take it slow and just make sure your hand is straight. That's the most important part. So as you can see, we're going to end it exactly on that, on this point right here. Here we get to this point. Turn also here. Make sure this actually goes inside very well. So when I get to this point, I'm going 
going to make a stitch and that is all last it is just to hold it down at that point that is all for this so this is what we're going to have so far as you can see so now all we have to do is to run our our tape around the neck and just to cover all these edges around so let's go back to the sewing machine you're going to iron this part it's very smooth though but because of the stitches you're going to iron this part both from inside and from outside that gives it a very good balancing so that is all for this lapel all you have to do is to call the to call the the, the piping the piping fabric so let's go to the cutting machine cutting table again so as you can see this clip can actually doesn't stretch at this point so that's why i will be cutting it out in bias so that i will have it very very late so at this edge you can see it stretches a lot like a lot so i'll be cutting the bias side which will be the side this is it that i already cut out and this is what i'll be using for the neck the neck dipping or if you know it as neck piping so this is what it looks like so this is what i'll be doing with this after i cut out the bias you can see it's a bit stretchy i'm going to fold it on the side i'm going to iron that part Make sure you're folding the same size Going to fold it round. Going to find our streets. So I'm going to iron it to this point. So I'm going to use the plant all the down straight. After that, I'm going to fold this other side also inside a little bit. I'm going to fold it. I'll just do the same thing. Just make sure you're closing that part out. Just make sure I have it down. Make sure I have it straight down to this part. Probably my knowledge, but this is all I'm having so far. I believe you guys could actually recall the last um, video I did on how to pipe a neck. During that one, I did not have an Emmy gun based on the style I was trying to achieve. But on this one, I'll be having Emmy gun in between this line right here. 
so I'm just going to make sure it's of the same same size and I'll be putting it inside of this pipe just make sure it goes inside So the moment you can get it inside like that. So I'll start ironing it. I'm just going to iron it on top of it so that it will stay and look firm. As you can see, it's still stretchy based on the fact that we cut it in a bias form. So now I will be folding this over this. But when I'm folding this, I'll be having a little bit of gap here. You can see I have a smaller part and I have the one that's a little bit bigger. So that's what I'll be doing all through. I'll be folding it and I'll be ironing it down in each of them. Sure, you use your hand to control it. So right here, this is what we have so far. You can see, just a little bit of overlap. You can see that. So this one will be attaching to our neckline. As simple as that. So here, with the piping that I made before, I'm going to, you can see we have the smaller part, which is this part, and we have the bigger part. I'm going to open it like this. And I'll be placing this in between the lapel. Can you see that? Just like this. But I have it to have a little bit of overlap in front. Something like this. You understand? So I'll, have, I'll make it. It's going to be like. Just like this. So at the tip of this first one right here, I'm going to start a stitch. Make sure your hand is very, 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 very straight. Because this is the part in which people are going to do on your neck. As clean as possible. Make sure you're balancing all this.
I believe you can see what I'm doing. So for the last part, let's break it. So as you can see, I have the neck well piped and smooth. That's the beauty. You can see that. So we're taking this to the ironing table, and I'm going to iron it and make sure it's very, very, very balanced. But first and foremost, I'm going to cut this part out just a little bit. And I'll be running another stitch, which is going to hold this one backward. So this is what I'm going to do. From here again, I'm going to start the stitch from the tip of this, of the front lapel. When I get to this part, I hope you can see when I get to this part, I'm going to fold it backward. I'm going to run a stitch. So if you're looking at it from the front, it's going to be as clean as possible. So that is it. So let me take you guys to the ironing table. So here is what we have, can you see? But first and foremost, I'll make sure Muda is balanced. I'll be working side. Make sure it's balanced very well. And I'll start the iron. Do you see how firm that part look? I'll be doing the same thing on the other side. Make sure your shoulder is balanced. Make sure the inner part is balanced also. I'm going to iron it starting from here. You guys can see that, it's as simple as that. So far, this is what we have, and this is what it looks like. I'll be folding this inside. I'll be making a stitch from inside. So we are going to have our overlap looking like this. So 
simple as that. So that is it on how to make this.